movie we'll go through the exercise of doing a block diagram from the StratiCalc menu in the geology module and then it will go through the color elevation grid by strata to cre create a 3D realistic image slice through the geology. First thing I start with is just an open pit so we can see some of the outcropping seams here in the pit and then also there'll be some outcropping seams outside the pit. And that's all put into the pre-calculated grid model with StratiCalc defined pre-calc grids. Open it up and I just have the different seams there with this output grid I made with design pad template to create this box cut. It's designed and it has contours of the pit floor which is the bottom of the lowest seam. So we'll begin with the command block diagram. We'll choose the pre-calculated grids. We'll just do a rectangle and for the surface we'll, we'll draw a grid only. No need for contours. Put it in layer mesh. Okay. Scales, 100 and 100 is fine. I don't want to do an exaggeration here. And we'll just draw the sides as 3D faces so that they can render in 3D and look very nice and realistic. Hit OK. And it says lower left corner. I'll just pick out here. Upper right, I will uh, leave a little bit of the pit open so we can look down into the pit to see the outcropping seams. Choose the elevation model PRE. And so now it's going to draw a four-sided fence diagram with solid faces and then a grid mesh on the top. It's looking for layers for the strata definition file. This is where it will get the coloring and layers from. I'll say yes, use those layers. Subdivision 0 to 5, I'll just max it out at 5 so that way it slices these faces up into smaller faces so it get, you don't get the uh, jagged edges. Uh, draw legend, I'll say no. All right, that's step one. Next step is to actually colorize this gray grid mesh for the surface topography. So right now what it did, if I just do it, take a quick peek in, in the side view, you can see it drew the faces going down the side. If I type just the AutoCAD shade command, then it will shade all those 3D faces. Back to plan view, and off the shade command. Okay, back over here, we've got some some flyers out there, that's why when I do zoom extents it was going out. Step two will be color elevation grid by strata. Chain, uh, choose the same pre-calculated model, same layers, and five is the subdivision level. Now for this one I'm just going to do a crossing window and zoom in to your full display so you see the whole grid and I'll pick inside this lower right corner and inside the upper left. You don't want to pick the vertical faces otherwise you might color those as well. So now it's going to colorize the surface grid and it'll look sort of like a geologic map. As you look down in plan view it'll be color coded based on the outcropping geology. And it's also subdividing. Those are little, uh, I think, 25 by 25 dimension grid cells. And so it's going to chop them up even smaller based on where we have the, the outcroppings. All right, now we have the 3D faces drawn. So we're ready to view this. And let's do a freeze of the few contour layers we have here. Get rid of those. And that leaves us just this block diagram. So we'll use the Carlson viewer under view, 3D viewer window. Select the whole model. Loads it up into the viewer. And let's play with the, the brightness and intensity a little bit. You can see the gray colors, they do look a little bit washed out in white at this point. But we'll just change the lighting and cast different shadows. We'll rotate around so we look down the open end of the pit, tip it straight back, pull it straight down towards you. And that looks really good. Let's maybe bump it up vertically two times exaggerated to see a little bit more relief. And there you can see in the pit the coal seams coming out. And this one splits into two like so. Looks like there's a little bit of coal left in the bottom of the pit. That's why there's some blue going across. Up at the surface, ground surface, you can see the outcropping of this upper coal seam. This orangish colored one looks very good as it wraps around that drainage. Outside the block diagram, just the same. There you can see the vertical slice as it cuts through the grids and draws you your 3D block diagram. Looks like there's a little dip in the grid file there. I'm not sure what's going on there. But other than that, it looks really good. 
So it's a nice way to visual, visualize the geology and print this off as PDF or a bitmap and put it into your presentation documents. Okay, this concludes the block diagram and color surface grid by outcropping geology. Thank you. Thank you.